Is it enough for you to come on air to speak English while your children do not go to school? Political analyst Abubakar speaks. Atiku Abubakar, a political analyst, has spoken on an interview with Channel Television, has chastised the restatement of the former Emir of Kano, requiring his, inquiring his contributions to the state. Atiku debated that the Emir has poignant in speaking English. He irritated to the address. He ill-fitted to the address the basicness, such as high number of out-of-school children and the prepoderance of medicant beggar on the street. Abubakar emphasized that it is not enough for leaders to present a polished image while neglecting their welfare and education of their people, particularly children. He stressed that true leadership involves tangible contribution to the community, not just eloquent speeches. During an interview with Channel Salavision, Atiku Abubakar, a political analyst, criticized the reappointment of Sanusi Lamido as the Emir of Kano, questioning his achievement and impact on the state. Abubakar argued that the English, the Emir's eloquence and ability to speak English. Okay, Abubakar argued that despite the Emir's eloquence and ability to speak English, he failed to address pressing issues in the state, such as the high number of alpha school children and the prevalence of beggars on the streets. According to him, he said, and I quote, now you talk about the achievement of His Royal Highness, Sanusi Lamido Sanusi, in a state where you have thousands of young ones out of school. What were his contributions? What did he do while he was Emir? Is it enough for you to come on air to speak English while your children do not go to school? Is it enough for you to produce the highest number of beggars on the street? Is it enough for you to see that your children do not have self-worth? It is not enough. Recall that the governor of Kano states, Abba Yusuf has reinstated the front emir of Kano, Lamido Sanusi. Mr. Sanusi is now officially the 14th and 16th emir of the ancient northern Nigerian city, having served in two different dispensations. The former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, 62, was installed, was reinstalled in, okay, was installed in 2014, by the then governor Rabi Ukwam Kwaso, who is the political godfather of the current governor Yusuf. He succeeded Adu Biyaro, the father of the man who was appointed following his own removal and who has now become his own predecessor. Hmm. To get that CBO, now this thing that they talk, see, Kano says people, make them not just bring in this person, make himself come outside, come talk, what he would do. For can or make him no come as I can to coming out to talk is cheap. Make him come as I can talk with him he could do for Kano people. What he will use in knowledge. This person don't escape the waiting nothing as they escape. I mean the face. Why don't you also help other people escape? Escape from lack of education, escape from you know being out of school, escape from not being open. The nothing as people who they are not that open to things because of the kind of most especially religious and traditional things they think or they know about themselves. They think they know about themselves. They are not open. Education helps you to see things from different angles. That is what education, education does. It helps you to be open-minded. You will know that 2 plus 2 is 4, but not only 2 plus 2 can give you 4. It will help you to see that 6 minus 2 is also 4. It will help you to also see that 5 minus um, 1 will give you 4. It will help you to know that 16 divided by 4 will give you 4. It will help you to know that 10 minus 6 will give you 4. It will help you to know that 1 plus 3 will give you 4. Do you understand? It will get, help you to know that, oh, 2 times 2 will give you 4. Do you get it help you to see different angles to things instead of you knowing only one angle and you sticking to it. It will help you to be very open-minded. At least the things that you don't know before. If you encounter it, even if you don't know it, if you encounter it, you'll be more open-minded. You say, eh, not really like this than they do. Why not separate the traditional institution from policies and give them independence so that this abuse of power will stop? It is only in Nigeria that these traditional rulers are patronized and paid annually at the expense of taxpayers' money. Meanwhile, they have nothing to offer. Nobody Sanusi, let me do Sanusi. They will still remove him. Sanusi is not the type of person that can become an emir and die on the throne. Sanusi will still be sacked, if not soon, then later. 
Why? I want to, I would like to ask the question why. What type of nonsensical nonsense question is that? What if they're in school but not friendly with the arrangement of letters to phone boys? Pack one side, John. Now they say you don't even understand what this person talk. He's saying, hope he's going to do this just like I'm saying now. Waiting be waiting you go do for your people. It is not enough for you to be so eloquent. Why? Yes, you don't escape. Like I said, Sami have escaped what is against nothing people. Lack of openness, lack of education and all those things and all that. Him now, how we go use a knowledge as an elite waiting him go do for him people. You don't need to tell us, you need to do one. Do you get that is what this guy, this particular guy is also trying to say. All of them will be speaking grammar while the lowest class children are selling things in the street of northern Nigeria. Is it sanity for that many children are out of school? The political and social cultural activities of a not created these children who will become nuisance and easily manipulatable. Sanusi has often spoken against this and that landed him where he is until his reinforcement. It is not about coming on it to analyze a one sunday political influence. My own is did he do enough? Sincerely, that is what I'm saying. I'm not even about him speaking. I'm about him because I know say Lanus Sanusi what they make sense. Again, most of the time maybe say they agree with within Sanusi they talk. But it is not enough to talk alone. He has to do. The MA is not the government of a state. He can only do his best to help the situation. If his best is not good enough, nobody has the right to blame him. It is good to be a polished human being. You cannot use that aspect of his character against him. Nobody is using it against him. They are just telling him to make use of his, you know, uh, what's it called? Should I say his, he should make use of, you know, his um, knowledge. If only the problem was limited to speaking English on it, it would have been an easy one to solve, but far from it. The surmounting issue is so complex and deep-seated that even geological phenomena like earthquakes and volcanic eruptions are much easier to predict and avoid. Sincerely. If you are His Holy Highness Mohammed Sanusi, what I will do is simply say no thank you and keep my dignity and self-respect because I am just fine without it. And it is tearing our family apart. One brother is outstate, another in front. Let it go to another family member, most qualified. And not you, Amino. And give him your and give you your utmost support. By this, you not only be the 14th of Kano, but the all time enemy of Kano, who chose family over relation. Hmm? That's what you think. Alright, so this note you've come to the end of the news. We so say thank you for turning it to listen until I come here next time. Enjoy the rest.